All right, guys, so bear with me with this video. I'm like not an expert by any means. Um, it might be a long video, so I do apologize. If you want to skip around, you can do that. Um, but I just unboxed this TV. Uh, I've been trying to get it like just on this desk here. Uh, since it's 58 inches, I had to move stuff around. As you can see, I'm, I got my Gears uh, Xbox uh, to the left there. Um, and I got uh, my PS4 Pro below it. I don't have it hooked up yet, so I'm going to use my Xbox uh, One X um, as a basis for this new TV uh, since it has the calibration tools and it lets you know what all stuff your TV supports as well. Um, but I don't know if you guys have seen, but this is the $200 Black Friday TV deal, the Insignia 58-inch at Best Buy. It's 58 inches. It's $200. It's a Black Friday TV. It's 4K HDR in quotation marks. But it's $200 for a 58-inch TV. Not really expecting much, but, you know, whatever. It's, I'm sure it does the job just fine. Um, I do have an OLED TV uh, that I use mainly. It's the LG C9, the 65-inch. But I got this because, again, it's $200. I must reiterate because that's the biggest thing why people are buying it. Because they want to get into the 4K market. And they don't have a lot of money. So, whatever. It's, you know... It's whatever. It's whatever they want to do. Anyways, let me get into this so I'm not bullshitting around. Um, so I just plugged it in, turned the TV on, and I'm presented with this uh, choose your language. I'm in the United States, so I hit OK. This is the uh, remote, by the way. Um, my iPhone, will it, <laughs> will it focus? Come on. There we go. Remote. Nothing uh, fancy. HBO, Prime Video, Netflix, PS Vu. Um, which aren't they, uh, canceling that? Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, but useless button now, I uh, never use it anyways, but cool, cool beans. So let's see what we got here. Um, store use. No fire TV edition. Cool. Scanning for networks. All right, let's do this. Happy. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. It's whatever came with the uh, modem. It's nothing special. It's a 5G network. Um, so that's good that it supports uh, uh, the best Wi-Fi bands. Um, that's always good. Connection is successful. Downloading the latest software. Awesome. I'm not going to sit here while this downloads, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm still doing setup here, so I'm going to keep switching it around. But after it started updating and finished the update, I uh, pulled up this screen. <clears throat> and it says, do you want the full uh, access, all the content you love, and control it with Alexa, so live TV, all that. Or just basic, where it's the experience is limited to live TV and only six streaming apps. Alexa and the full apps are, are not included, so you get live TV. So if this is just, you know, you don't really need all that other stuff and you just need Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, stuff like that, you can do that. Or you can do the full, which is recommended, which I guess, yeah, because you can, you know, download apps and, you know, all that. Which, But I like that they give you that uh, option for people that want to, you know, whatever they want to do. Options are not a bad thing. So I'm going to go and do full, obviously. And here I'm going to set up, so I'll be right back. All right, back to sign into my um, Amazon account. And we're brought to this parental control. Most people will just hit no parental control, so you'll allow purchasing and video playback without a pin. Simple as that. Now it's just optimizing. Okay, that was pretty quick. So let's see what here we have. I, using an iPhone, I have to like readjust the exposure, so I apologize for that I have nothing fancy. All right, so choose your streaming services. Everything is free to add. Some will require payment for full access, which, okay. So let's see here. I have Disney Plus. I don't use any of these. Don't use any of these. Which featured services do I want? Okay, that. Disney Plus, I guess it just uh, adds Hulu, Netflix automatically. So, perfect. 
All right, that's it. Cool. And I'm already at my home screen. So I'm pretty much already loaded in here. Um, so you can add these for, this is a, a 60 FPS video in 4K, so you should be able to get a feel for how smooth it is. Um, Amazon's been known to not be the best, uh, but they do, you know, it's a lot better than what you could hope for. It's nothing trash. Um, so you have your recently added. It does support 4K, as you can see here. Um, these you can purchase or Prime Movies in 4K, uh, Transformers. Um, they've added a lot of stuff. Um, James Bond movies. They have a lot in 4K. If you haven't watched any Amazon movies in 4K, uh, there's a lot to choose from. So, yeah. Featured apps. It's basically Amazon Fire TV. Everybody knows what this is. I don't think I need to um, explain that too much to anybody. But, yeah, so you have YouTube now on Prime Video, Hulu, uh, Internet with the Silk Browser, HBO, Disney+, Plus, all that good stuff. Uh, so let's go into settings here. Display and sounds. Let's see what we got. Sound settings. What do we have? Sound mode, standard, um, music, movie, clear voice, enhanced bass. Cool. Advanced settings. Dialog clarity and DTS true sound. That's cool. TV speakers on. That's obviously if you use a separate receiver. Right now in this room, I don't have a sound bar, but uh, I might add like a Sonos beam to it. At least get some decent sound out of it. All right, let's see. Display settings. HDMI 1. Not much here. Maybe if I turn on my Xbox. Let's see, let's see. All right. Auto aspect. So, really, there's settings wise, there really isn't a lot here. Now, let me go into the settings on my Xbox and see. I'll go back to the settings. So maybe I'm missing something there. But um, let me see if I can. Settings. TV and display options. So I do get 4K. Cool. Video modes allow HDR10. Cool. 4K TV details. All right. So, the TV does support 4K at 60. It supports uh, 4K 10 bit at 24 hertz. That's nice. It supports 4K 10 bit at 60 hertz. It supports HDR10. It does not have Dolby Vision. And it doesn't have 50 hertz, which is for PAL, pretty much like the European regions and anywhere other than the United States. Um, so, I can play, I can capture 4K HDR screenshots and videos, as well as play videos in 4K HDR and 60 fps so that's really nice um so i do have it on 10 bit here that's cool um you can go ahead and you can calibrate your tv through this as well if you want to um it has all the settings with the xbox which is cool contrast you know not bad cool beans now I'm trying to figure out how to get, right now, if I can get game mode. All right, so I figured out the settings and everything, um, how to do it, and I kind of calibrated it around. I did uh, show you the settings now if you want to use the same ones. Um, it's kind of dark. How do I change the exposure? I, I hate using an iPhone. I really like, it takes great video outside, but inside trying to figure out this exposure and everything is annoying. Um, so you do is go to settings, display and sounds, picture settings, 
Um, for apps and video, it's going to be pretty much the same as my game. But picture mode over there, um, I did custom, backlight 100, contrast 100, brightness 0, color negative 5, tint 0, sharpness minus 25, mainly because I'm going to watch a lot of uh, 4K content and I don't see any reason why I need any sharpness because uh, most times sharpness can really fuck up the image. So, excuse my language, but yeah. So those are the nice settings. Uh, here I have the mid luminance gamma at five, um, and then I have everything turned off. So dynamic backlight, dynamic contrast, MPEG noise reduction, edge enhancer, uh, motion processing, definitely off. I uh, don't want that on. Um, but for HDMI one here, all right, so for my game mode here, uh, my Xbox One X, I have it set to picture mode PC, uh, 100 backlight, 100 contrast, zero brightness, minus five color, zero tint, uh, minus 20 sharpness. Advanced settings, uh, again, pretty much the same as the others. Um, I'll just turn that on. Um, so dynamic backlight off, MPEG noise reduction, off, dynamic noise reduction off, everything off pretty much. Don't want um, any of that on there. So let's see. So it makes it brighter, that's not bad. I'm gonna keep it off for now. Uh, I don't wanna mess up the video, but I'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay here uh, so you get a feel for, for what it's like. Um, there's gonna be ghosting and um, stuff like that. I'm not the best, so if I suck at driving, don't worry about big racing fan, but the Horizon is looking great. I just bought this One X on Black Friday as well, so I'm starting to get a feel for it. I usually play PlayStation, but um, I got the One X because it was hard to pass up. There's a lot of Game Pass games, as well as uh, backwards and backwards. So. everybody off the road. Damn it, I missed the checkpoint. I love it. Damn, that sucks.
right, so I'll be now. back with uh, some more Keep video or some like gameplay. All right, so I got Doom here. Um, this is a 60 FPS game since Forza Horizon. Uh, your quality mode is 30, uh, so this just gives you a feel of how some FPS games play uh, and the quality and everything. So hopefully, uh, it's a decent game. Samuel Hayden, I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. All right, so that's enough of that. I don't want to just keep doing gameplay and gameplay and gameplay, uh, but I showed you the settings. Um, I can show you a video too as well. Um, see about hopefully this exposure doesn't uh, screw up here. 
<laughs> uh, I could play Transformers The Last Knight here. But also, let me do a... Um, I'll do a banding test real quick on YouTube. Oh, I gotta download it first. Okay, then, uh... Let's get that. Okay, got the app. Cool, cool, cool. This is what I'm looking for here. all this so just like the hottest ones I guess interesting support 4k so that's cool as you can see There's virtually like no banding at all. This is pretty amazing. Any banding you see in the video or pretty much is from the camera because for my eyes right now, I don't have any banding whatsoever. No. Well, it cut me off there. I guess I was recording too long. Um, but if you have any questions, like I said, let me know in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. Um, other than that, take it easy, guys. Peace.